Welcome to CATS Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice probably 9.3. So we asked to evaluate these two expressions. These are complex numbers, and this symbol here, or this asterisk, represents the conjugate. So for these types of questions, I wouldn't really want to waste a lot of time with these. So I won't be doing these manually, but if you have a calculator like this, which is the... Uh, fx991za plus cash your calculator what you do is you basically um let me just clear the settings first so if i clear the settings just so i have it in the mode which i want it and so i can show you guys from scratch how to do all of this right so let me just clear all of these settings clear all and cool so now what you want to do is to put your calculator in complex mode and make sure it's in degrees. You'll see this D at the top to make sure it's in degrees. And just to make sure it's in degrees, just press uh, shift, then mode, then go to the third option, which is DEG, which stands for degrees. So take that option, option three. So you're now in degrees. And now to deal with these uh, complex numbers, what we must do is to transform this into complex form. So what you do for that is you press mode and you choose option two, right? So option two over there. And we're now in complex mode and our angles are shown in degrees. So that is that. So now to solve this, you basically just uh, punch all of this into your calculator and you should get the final answer which you're looking for. So this, this asterisk, as I said, represents the conjugate. And you can actually find the conjugate of everything using your calculator. So this is how you do it. Just say shift uh, option two, then go to the second option, which has C-O-N-J-G, which stands for conjugate. So go to the second option and you have your starting bracket. And now you can start entering what's inside these huge brackets. So you're gonna have five plus two i, and your i would be this ENG button over here. And you're gonna multiply that with negative one plus four i, and you're gonna subtract five, then press shift to do this, this uh, phase angle thing. So just press shift and then go to this button over here, which looks like a dash in brackets and you're going to press your angle with which is 60 in our case then you're going to close the brackets right so just make sure everything matches up then you're going to press your equal sign now this equal sign is going to give you the answer which you're actually looking for depending on what the question is asking for you will transform this answer into that form so this is our answer over here which we have with us on our calculator and all that's left is just to transform it into the form which is required in your question. So in the textbook, in the textbook, it's actually given in this form, which is the rectangular form of a complex number. And so our answer in this case is negative 15.5 uh, subtract J13.67. So I'm just going to put the calculator away and write the answer. So the answer to all of this is negative 15.5, negative 13.67J. So this is the real part of our, of our answer, and this is the imaginary part. So if the question asks you to find the real part of the answer, then you'll only input this. And if it asks you to find the imaginary part, you'd only input this part, right? So moving on to the next question. So the same thing applies. You can basically just punch everything into your calculator and I'm, I'm just gonna do that quickly. So doing that quickly, this is what we have. You have 10, uh, I'm trying to hold my camera with one hand and the calculator with the other. So that, that is that. So you're gonna have 10 plus uh, 5i. Then we have plus three. Then I'm gonna do the angle thing, shift and this dash thing, which is in brackets. And you can say 40, which is the angle associated with that, divided by negative three plus four i, which the i represents our j. 
And then I'm going to say plus 10 angle 30, which is what we have over there. And then finally, plus J5, so 5i. Now I'm going to say equals 2 to find the final answer. And the final answer to all of this, you can press SD, this SD button over here, which is going to split these into your real part at the top and your imaginary part at the bottom. So now our final answer is 8.293 plus 7.2, right? So 8.293 plus J7.2. So that is our answer for, these are our answers for this question. So all you have to do for these type of questions is to punch into your calculator. So familiarize yourself with the operations which actually won't give you an error when you punch them in a calculator because some of them will actually give you an error. But these are generally fine. So subtraction, addition, multiplication of complex numbers, you can just punch into your calculator.